For seven decades, the United Nations peacekeeping operations have been deployed to countries aiming to keep the peace in armed conflict and support peace processes. In the field, UN Blue Helmets are facing far more dangerous, complex and high-risk environments, especially in the four largest deployments in Mali, the Central African Republic, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and South Sudan. UN peacekeepers are often under-equipped, under-prepared and unready for the dangerous environments in which they now operate. There are gaps in command and control, in culture, in equipment and in training. Our peacekeepers are vulnerable and they are targeted for attack. Last year, we lost 59 peacekeepers through malicious acts, a sharp increase since 2016 when the figure was 34. To counter this, the UN chief said the agency is working to improve safety and security of missions and refine priorities. But Guterres also called on the Security Council to streamline mandates and set realistic expectations that can actually be met by missions. Also paramount, improving coordination and cooperation between the Security Council, troop contributing countries and host nations. The reforms are taking place even as the United States, which shoulders about 28.5 percent of the 7.3 billion U.S. dollar peacekeeping budget this year, wants to further cut that back. One country should not shoulder more than one quarter of the U.N. peacekeeping budget. And we look forward to a more equitable distribution of the budget among member states. Moving forward. The United States will not pay more than 25 percent of the peacekeeping budget. This is a cap required by U.S. law. Under pressure from the Trump administration, the U.N. last year reduced its peacekeeping budget by more than half a billion dollars. Lilington, CGTN, New York.